Hey everyone, welcome back to Rose's Year of One. Today is another inventory video. It is my makeup inventory, so in a way probably one of the most exciting ones. However, I'm going to be doing things slightly differently in this one. So in the two that have gone up so far, which has been skincare and hair care, I have gone through and picked out everything that I want to use up this year. I'm only going to be doing that for certain categories within makeup. And then what I want to do is kind of pull together a makeup collection that I'm going to work from this year but I think doing that in this video would just make it super long so I'm going to save that for another video and make this one in terms of the colour products more about the facts and figures. I hope you enjoy and let's get on into those scary facts and figures. <laughs> I have 10 face primers, they're worth $337 altogether. I feel like this year, first of all, I definitely want to keep down this Smashbox primer water. I don't actually use this as a primer, I use this to wet any eyeshadows that I want to make wet look, obviously. So I'm going to keep that one down. This one is in my project pan, so I'm definitely keeping this one down and I'm hoping to finish it up this year. This NARS one I really, really like and um, as you can see, it's very nearly finished, so I'm going to keep that one down to try and use it up this year. Sorry if you can hear Sansa's bell in the background. I'm also going to try to finish off this Estee Lauder one. It is so old that I don't really put this on my face, but hopefully with a bit of a return to socialising, I will go on some nights out and I will use this like on my legs or my collarbone. Hopefully. I, really, I hoped that last year that this would be done in that sense, but... Um, yeah, that didn't happen, but hopefully this year. And then this one is also very nearly done from Becca, the first light priming filter. I have to say I was quite surprised to hear that Becca was shutting down. I wouldn't have predicted it. Sad times, but we'll try and finish that off. And then I'm putting into storage the Kevin O'Quan Essential Skin Primer, the Chanel LeBlanc, the Neod Photography Fluid, and the Lancome La Base Pro. Mainly more because I feel like these are all, I feel like these have all been picked out to get used more because it's realistic to expect to use them up just because of the way they've been used already. The ones I think I'm most excited about getting back to are actually the Chanel. I've got it in my head, I'd really like the VDL Lumi Layer Primer and I'm kind of trying to convince myself that this does a sort of similar thing. And then I've still, I've never opened this Lancome one, which I'm very excited about. So excited to get on to using these, but in 2021, finishing these four is top priority and I will keep down the Smashbox for eyeshadow. Just need to add in about primer. This wasn't in shot because I thought I'd left it in work, but I hadn't. It's here and it's the Too Faced Primed and Peachy mattifying primer so as you can see it is a little mini um, and I'm going to keep that down this year to try and finish it off as well. On to foundation, I have got 10 foundations worth $464.85. In terms of what I want to keep down, I don't expect to finish this, the Kevin Aquan Essential Skin Enhancer, but I do want to keep it down. I do want to finish this, so this is from Armani. They're Crema Nuda and it's actually, it's shade zero but it's too dark for me. But because it's in a pot I feel like it's just going to continue to oxidise and get darker and darker and obviously more bacteria gets into a pot and things so I really want to just finish this up. NARS Sheer Glow is probably the oldest foundation in my stash. I feel like I have been holding on to the end of this because I know that I really like this on my skin um, and obviously I have been on a no buy for the past three years now. I felt like I was holding on to this just so that I wouldn't have to be without it because I knew obviously I have so many foundations that I wasn't going to be able to repurchase this as a replacement or anything but yeah I feel like it's it's very old and I definitely just need to use it up and let it let it die in peace so I'm going to keep that one down. This was in my project pan last year and I did really like it I feel like I just want a bit of a break from it. So that's a Dermacol. Do you know I might keep that just in the the kind of formation that's naturally come to there where those two NARS um so I don't love this foundation it's the Aldi Luminous and I had this used on me I got my makeup done and she mixed Siberia and Mont Blanc together which is why I have the two of them and my skin looked really really beautiful 
when the makeup artist did it but I feel like I find this foundation quite difficult to work with but yeah I'll just need to spend some time getting to know it and I'd quite like to try and get it used up um so yeah I would hope to finish the three NARS foundations and the Armani and I'm keeping the Kevin Aquan down I'm going to store these ones away at the moment so aiming to finish and just keeping down for use. For correctors I have two, I have my Bobbi Brown under eye corrector and my Dr. Jar um, green colour corrector. Together they are worth $79, obviously I only have two and they do two different jobs so I'm perfectly happy with this category um, and I'm going to keep them both down and hopefully use them both this year. On to concealers, again I have 10, 10 seems to be the number for this and they are worth $252.60. Now in terms of what I am keeping down, I'm going to keep down, this is from KVD Beauty and as you can see it's just pure white and I tend to use this more to take down um, foundations that are a little too dark for me. So I'm keeping that one down but it's not necessarily, although it is a concealer and it's in this category, it's not being kept down to be used as such. I've got a few pot concealers, I think they've all been opened let's put the pot concealers next to each other actually that would maybe make a touch more sense so yeah liquid concealers spf concealers pot concealers so you can see with this one there is pan showing and so i'm going to keep that one down to try and maybe finish that one off i would also quite like to finish off this benefit one which there is no no pan or anything but i feel like this isn't as good coverage as some of my other concealers so I feel like I could just throw this in my work makeup bag where it's you know I'm not really going to be desperate to look completely flawless um, and I'll try and finish it up that way so I'll keep those two down and I'll store away these two pot concealers. In terms of the SPF concealer this is a little mini which I've actually cut open and nearly finished so I'll keep that one down um, and I think I'll just keep that one down because I'm hoping that will be finished quite quickly. And then in terms of liquid concealers, I don't know, I kind of feel like I just want to keep all three of them down actually. I think maybe I will actually just keep... No, that's silly. Because if I keep everything down, I don't finish anything because I just rotate. That is the whole reason that I'm doing this where I pick things to focus on and put other things away is so that they are out of sight and I'm not rotating around using everything once and I'm actually focusing on finishing things so this is oh, I feel, I'll keep these two down so I had these two down last year so neither of them are brand new this is actually I think the oldest concealer in my collection and um, the makeup forever HD which I really really like but it's just like a what's the word like it just squeezes out so I feel like I only use this if I've really got time to be doing my makeup properly if that makes sense with like a sponge and whatever um whereas I feel like this NARS one which is the NARS Radiant Creamy it's on a doe foot applicator so you know if I'm in more of a rush this is what I would tend to reach for so I will put these three away and I don't expect to finish this or this this year but I would like to finish one, two, three, four, five of these by the end of the year. On to face powders, I have got 15 face powders worth $507.84. In terms of what I want to finish up this year, this Chanel Le Beige is nearly done, so I'm definitely keeping that down. This from Clarins, I think, is one of my oldest powders, so I'm definitely going to keep that one down. And from Urban Decay, I've got this mattifying powder, which... My skin's not as oily as it used to be so I feel like I probably won't be reaching for this until the summer months but as you can see the packaging is broken so I would like to try and get it used up. I'm also going to keep down this Makeup Forever HD powder and try and remember to actually use it whenever I'm filming a YouTube video. That was just a really ridiculous purchase. I bought this in Paris just because Makeup Forever was like this new brand that you couldn't get in the UK at that point and um, yeah, I don't really know why I bought a powder that is for filming when I didn't make YouTube videos back then, but it is what it is. I own it and I do make YouTube videos now, so I'm going to keep this down and try and remember to use it when I film. So that is three pressed powders and a loose powder. Okay, so I think I will also try and keep down this as a little sample of the RCMA No Colour Powder, just because I've had it. Lauren gave me this ages ago and I've really not made a dent in it, so I'll keep that down. 
and I think I'll keep down this from By Terry which is this like dual compact powder which I really like because I feel like it's a very non-powdery powder <laughs> um, if that makes any sense so I'll keep that one down as well I think. I definitely prefer pressed powders to loose powders that's something I've definitely uh, learned. I'm keeping these six down and I ideally would like to finish definitely these two and I'd like to at least hit pan in this one this year and I would like to finish this so so I would like to finish these three this year and I would like to make a dent into these three and I'm going to store all of those ones. Just as I went to put things away I decided I'm just going to chuck this one in to keep down as well it's the Estee Edit which is long discontinued um, but it's an under eye brightening powder so it's quite a sort of specific powder um, so I don't expect to finish it this year like the HD one it's kind of one that you're only going to use in certain situations but I'm going to keep it down this year and again try and make a bit of a dent into it. On to eye primer I have nine eye primers worth $138.95 in terms of what I want to use up this year the Benefit Puff Off is an under eye primer so that's slightly different to all the rest of them so definitely want to keep that one down and use it up. Next to the Benefit you can see I've got two of the Lorac eye primers um, and one of them's got a sticker on it. It was to kind of be able to identify which one um, I was trying to work from so I am going to keep down the one that's got the sticker on it and I'm also going to keep down the Too Faced glitter glue just because it's obviously it's slightly different because it's a glitter primer um, so that is those three I'm hoping this little mini Lorac one will be finished quite soon and I'm going to also keep down because of that the Urban Decay primer potion so I'm going to keep down these four so three different jobs and then one to replace this one once it's finished and I'm going to put these five into storage. Onto mascaras, I have 19 worth $331.24. The way that I've laid it out is the ones that are in this drawer here. This is what I had down last year, so this is what I have made a dent into. So I have five coloured mascaras here, um, which are obviously not ones that I use every day, but I just kept them down to use in certain makeup looks last year. Um, this one is near enough done and I have been working on, I've been wearing the Urban Decay combo recently and then I've got two minis down here which have both been opened as well. I would like to finish, I'm definitely not going to finish the coloured mascaras this year, um, but I would definitely like to finish these five. And then in terms of the other ones, I think I'll keep down this DHC one just because it's a tubing mascara so it's quite good for layering over other things just to keep them in place. Yeah, I think I'll I'll stick with it as it is and I will put I will put these ones back into storage and keep this little drawer of mascaras down as is. Brow products, I have got 17 brow products worth $369.64. And similarly to mascara, what is in this drawer is what I'm going to keep down. So I've got four brow pencils there. This one is basically nearly done. Um so essentially three brow pencils. Um, and I'm hoping, I don't know if finishing four this year would be realistic, but I'm hoping to finish two of these this year. Then I've got two brow pomades, just two different colours, a Benefit Browsings, um, Benefit Highbrow, which is like an under underbrow highlighting pencils, which I very rarely use, but keep down with the intention of using. Um, the Benefit Brow Vault Conditioning Primer, which I would like to finish this year. And then two of the Benefit Ready Set Brows, um, a little travel size one and a full size one. So in terms of actually finishing this year, I would like to finish both these brow gels. I would like to finish the primer. I don't think it's realistic to make a dent into any of them. This is near enough finished. And then I would like to finish one more pencil. I don't know which one that will be. Ideally, actually, I think I would quite like to finish this ABH one it's kind of the wrong colour for me though so I feel like I can only use this I have to balance this with another pencil so it takes me like way longer to use this than I would take me than it would take me to use it if it was actually the right colour but I can make it work it's not terrible enough to be like oh just declutter it um 
but yeah it's not it it'll take me longer than it kind of would if it was the right colour to finish it up but yeah I'm keeping these down and keeping these down with the aim to finish these five products and I will store the things in the box. On to lip balms which I think is the last category that I'm doing where I'm setting anything and then we'll just go on to talking numbers for the colour products. Um, I have 23 lip balms for $313.95. Now in terms of what is nearly finished, this little sample set obviously nearly done. This is basically done, this is basically done. Um, and this is very very nearly done so I'm definitely keeping these ones down. Now I don't really like things in a pot so I'm going to try and keep this down to try and finish it off. I don't like things I have to stick my fingers into so the sooner I can be rid of these little pot ones the better kind of thing. Keeping one down is, is enough at the moment. And then I think I'll keep down this other Clarins one which I really like but I much prefer the number six. It's just really natural I can kind of put it on with no makeup. This one's definitely more of a colour um, but I, I do, I really love these. I kind of feel like these are what I would just like to start repurchasing as my lip treatment product is the Clarins um, Instant Light Natural Lip Perfector, particularly number six. Um, so if I ever got to a point where all of these were used up and I was able to just be buying them as a free repurchase item that is the one that would be repurchased. Although I do also very much enjoy the Dr. Lip Nipple Balm, so I will keep one of those minis down as well. One of the Venefect primers and one of the Dior Lip Maximizers. And then I'm going to store away. So I'm going to store away all of these and then I'm keeping down these and it would be it would be good if I could finish them all this year. I don't know if that's realistic. That other Clarins one is very pigmented and basically full. Um so I don't know if I uh, maybe I I don't think I'll finish that one. And I maybe in terms of these being lip primers, especially given we are in a situation where we're wearing masks a lot, I don't know if I'm really gonna go through these these two. So I'll, these three I'm keeping down, not expecting to use, but I would like to try and finish all of these ones by the end of this year. Okay, so we're now going on to colour products, so I'm not setting any usage goals on these categories in this video. I'm just going to talk you through what they are. So first of all, contour products, I've got three worth 76.86. And I will just say there are some inconsistencies here. So in terms of this palette, for example, um, this is the contour shade in this palette. So I've counted that in as a contour. Um, but there are some palettes that I have not bothered splitting out and I've just counted them in as other three contours worth 76.86. On to bronzers, most of them are in palettes, it's not actually a product that I buy very much of. So I have eight bronzers and they're worth $96.36. On to blush, I have a lot of blush so I'm not going to lay them out, you will just need to take my word for it that there is 93 there worth worth $1,621.60. Highlights, I have 39 worth $765.61. Two of them I do not have here. I actually, having a bit of a drama, I'm not sure where they are. It's it's two from the Colourpop Midnight Masquerade collection. It's Big Tough Girl and Horse and Carriage. Yeah, basically I used them last year on the rotation. Then I put them in the boxes because I was just storing them. Um, and my gran put the boxes in the loft but cannot find them. So they do exist somewhere, it's just a big sign that I really need to clear the loft out, but I need to clear everything else out too. I just need less stuff, that is the story of my life, um, but that is why I'm doing a year of one. So yeah, we're, we're trying, we're on the journey, but yeah, two highlights are not here, but they are on my spreadsheet. I do know they exist somewhere in this house, God knows where, but somewhere, um, so yeah. 39 worth $765.61. Going on to colour eye products, these are my eye crayons. I have got 16 of them worth $483.44. Eyeshadow singles, I have got 82 worth $1,482.52. On to my small eyeshadow palettes. So these are any palettes that have 
two to five eyeshadows in them. And I have 19 of these worth $920.61. So I definitely couldn't kind of lay these out neatly. I have a lot of eyeshadow palettes. So these are my large eyeshadow palettes, which are palettes with six or more shadows in them. And there are 59 of them all together, worth $2,457.37. I think I'm going to do an eyeshadow palette collection video, so here's just a brief overview. On to my eyeliner collection. So this is both liquid and pencil eyeliners. I have 83, worth $1,362.96. On to lip products. I have got 62 lip liners, worth $1,012.58. These are my lipsticks. I have 157 worth $3,249.43. These are my liquid lipsticks. Now I have 40 worth $646.78. However, two of them are not here because two of them are from the Colourpop Midnight Masquerade collection. So I have two and two of them are missing, which are in those Colourpop boxes that the highlighters are in, that, you know, to be confirmed on the location of. They exist somewhere in the house, so they are being counted into my inventory. And yeah, 40 liquid lipsticks to open 2021 with. And the penultimate category of my makeup inventory is lip gloss. I have 32 lip glosses worth $714.21. One of them is in work, so there are only 31 in this frame. Um, but yeah, I have 32 all in to open 2021 with. And the last category is my other category. So I have got 12 items in this category worth $549.53. This is what I was saying where I get a little bit inconsistent. So I've got palettes that are kind of mixed. So like face palettes, um, this hourglass palette, which is all cheek and face products but like I haven't split it into counting it as like two blushes, a bronzer, etc. I've got a setting powder. Charlotte Tilbury Film Star Bronze and Glow, a Colourpop Freckle Pen, um, and then two Colourpop Glitters. So, kind of a catch-all category, really, for things that sort of, you know, only have one of but don't really deserve their own category, like a Freckle Pen or a Setting Spray. Um, and, yeah, that is the, the last of it. All in, to wrap up my 2021 opening makeup inventory, my entire inventory is worth $18,234.93 and the total number of products that make that up are 820. So that is what we're starting 2021 with. I will go through my makeup rehab goals with you in another video and yeah, we will work to get this somewhat nearer to being under control. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed and I will speak to you in my next video. Bye!